you won't believe what Elon Musk is planning to do. He wants to colonize Mars and he's not joking. Imagine living on another planet. A planet that is cold, dry, dusty and far away from Earth. A planet that has no plants, animals or oceans. A planet that is hostile to life as we know it. Would you want to go there? Would you want to stay there? Would you want to call it home? Well, Elon Musk does and he's not alone. He has a vision of colonizing Mars and he's working hard to make it happen. He's the founder and CEO of SpaceX, a company that is developing rockets and spacecrafts that can take humans and cargo to Mars and beyond. He's also the founder and CEO of Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, companies that are creating innovative technologies that can support life on Mars and other planets. But why does he want to colonize Mars? And how realistic is his plan? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Elon Musk's vision of colonizing Mars and why it's both amazing and crazy. But before we get into that, let me know in the comments below what you think about Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars. Do you support it or oppose it? Do you think it's possible or impossible? And would you want to go to Mars if you had the chance? Alright, let's get started. Elon Musk has always been fascinated by Mars. He grew up reading science fiction books and comics that featured stories about exploring and living on the red planet. He was inspired by the works of Isaac Isimov, Arthur C. Clarke, Robert Hinlin, and many others. He dreamed of becoming an astronaut and going to Mars himself. But as he grew older, he realized that there was no real plan or program to send humans to Mars. He was disappointed by the lack of progress and ambition in the space industry. He felt that humanity had lost its sense of adventure and curiosity. He felt that humanity needed a new challenge and a new frontier. So, he decided to take matters into his own hands. He founded SpaceX in 2002 with the goal of revolutionizing space transportation and enabling human exploration and settlement of Mars. He invested his own money and hired a team of engineers and scientists who shared his vision. He also partnered with NASA and other organizations who supported his mission. Since then, SpaceX has achieved some remarkable milestones in the space industry. It has developed the Falcon 9 rocket, which is the first orbital class rocket capable of reusability. It has developed the Dragon spacecraft, which is the first private spacecraft to deliver cargo and crew to the International Space Station. It has developed the Starlink constellation, which is a network of thousands of satellites that provide high-speed internet access around the world. But these achievements are just stepping stones for Musk's ultimate goal, colonizing Mars. Musk has a detailed plan for how he wants to colonize Mars. He says that he wants to send the first crewed mission onto Mars in 2024. Using a starship, a massive rocket that can carry up to a hundred people and tons of cargo. He says that he wants to establish a permanent settlement on Mars by 2050, with a population of at least one million people. He says that he wants to make life on Mars as comfortable and enjoyable as possible, with amenities such as restaurants, bars, cinemas, and even a city called Starbase. He says that he wants to make Mars a self-sustaining civilization, independent from Earth. Sounds incredible, right? But how does he plan to do all this? Well, he has some ideas for how to overcome the many challenges and dangers involved in going to Mars. For example, he plans to use reusable rockets and spacecrafts that can lower the cost and increase the frequency of flights to Mars. He plans to use water, ice, and carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere to produce propellant for rockets and oxygen for breathing. He plans to use 3D printing and robotics to build habitats and infrastructure on Mars. He plans to use genetic engineering and biotechnology to adapt plants and animals to Martian conditions. He plans to use virtual reality and neural implants to enhance communication and entertainment on Mars. These are just some of the ideas that Musk has for colonizing Mars, but are they realistic? Are they feasible? Are they ethical? Well, that depends on you, and it depends on who you ask. While many people are skeptical and critical of Musk's plan, they say that it's too risky, too expensive, and too unrealistic. They say that there are many unknowns and uncertainties involved in going to Mars, such as radiation, dust storms, extreme temperatures, lack of water and oxygen, and psychological stress. They say that there are many ethical and social issues involved in colonizing Mars, such as who gets to go, who owns the land, who makes the rules, and how to protect the environment. 
They say that there are many more urgent and important problems on Earth that need attention and resources, such as poverty, hunger, climate change, and inequality. But many people are also supportive and admiring of Musk's plan. They say that it is bold, visionary, and inspiring. They say that it is possible, feasible, and ethical. They say that there are many benefits and opportunities involved in going to Mars, such as scientific discovery, technological innovation, cultural diversity, and human evolution. They say that colonizing Mars is a noble and worthwhile goal for humanity, and that it will bring out the best in humanity. So what do you think? Do you support or oppose Elon Musk's vision of colonizing Mars? Do you think it's possible or impossible? Do you think it is beneficial or harmful? And would you want to go to Mars if you had the chance? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos about Elon Musk.